Hi, I'm Alan Johnson. I'm on the board of directors for Blue Bonnet Equine Humane Society. I've been involved with Blue Bonnet about 10 years. We got involved when we moved out to Bastrop and we had the opportunity to have horses again. A neighbor introduced us to Blue Bonnet. Blue Bonnet's an amazing organization. We take in horses from across Texas, mainly uh, the Houston and uh, Central Texas is uh, where we receive most of our horses, but we're open to receiving them from anywhere. These horses many times are um, victims of neglect or uh, maybe light abuse. Uh, they sometimes come in emaciated and we have to bring them back up to health. It's as simple as uh, hoof trims and dental work, but many times it's putting uh, weight back on them, taking care of medical needs that may have gone unaddressed for many years. Once the horses are uh, back up at the health, uh, they uh, spend time uh, often with trainers being evaluated to see what they know, uh, what sort of training that horse might need, what sort of rider or adopter might be appropriate for them. Each year about 75 horses enter our training challenge, uh, which is going on right now. Behind me you see a horse uh, in the round pen getting ready uh, to compete, getting warmed up. Uh, these horses have spent four months with a trainer, anywhere from um, maybe a youth trainer doing an in-hand uh, performance, all the way up to horses who might have come in with some, uh, maybe never been rode before, or maybe having some light behavioral challenges. And they spend four months with the trainers getting ready to compete here today. All of them have been verified that uh, they can be handled well, that they can be saddled, fly spray, their hoofs picked up, loaded in a trailer. Many of them have been started under saddle and now have four months underneath them uh, so that we can really communicate to the adopters what these horses know, uh, maybe any gaps that might still exist that they might need to work on themselves, and what type of rider is appropriate for these horses so that they can go home uh, to their forever home and, and be just a, a great part of a family. So over the past 18 months, Blue Bonnet is undertaking a strategic planning process uh, to really set us up for sustainability long term into the future. After this board has long since gone away, we want to make sure that foundation's there, that Blue Bonnet can continue helping horses many years ahead. One of the most important pieces of our strategic plan is setting us up for uh, long term fundraising. We have many donors uh, every year who give 500, 1,000, 5,000, even $25,000 to help our mission. Uh, we want to work with these donors and others who might be interested in uh, being part of uh, our long-term plan through planned giving, uh, maybe being part of their estate. Uh, we know that these individuals have supported us for many years and they likely want to remember Blue Bonnet in their estate so that they can have a long-term impact in this organization and be able to help horses many years to come.